Hello and welcome to week 23 of the Ray of Hope crochet along and this week we're making the zigzag puff stitch. So this is a really beautiful stitch and it has a really braided look to it but it's made just using puffs that are angled but it really does create a stunning look. So how do we make it? Okay so we're going to start with a foundation chain of 22 and we're using a 3.5mm hook. So we're making our first row the uh, same way as we did do the, all the other rays. So it's double crochet in every stitch. That turning chain counts as a stitch, so you've got 20 stitches in total. All double crochet. Row two, we're doing a little bit differently. So, turn and chain one, and make uh, the alternate turning chain two together. So we're going to decrease down and we're going to start with our pattern as well on row 2. There we go. Let's get my stitch marker. Okay, so you've got your two together and then we're going to double crochet in the next five stitches. One. Two, three, four, and five. Okay, so now we're going to chain two. We're going to skip two stitches. So skip two, and then we're going to double crochet in the next two stitches. And chain two, skip two again, and then double crochet in the next two, three, four, yeah, five stitches. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then over the last two stitches, we're going to make a double crochet two together. One. And two. Okay, so you should have those two, chain two gaps in the middle there. Okay, so that's the end of row two. Row three, we're going to start our puffs. So you're going to turn and chain one and make the alternate turning chain in the first stitch. Okay. And then we're going to double crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, Three, four, and five. Okay, so we're going to start our first puff. Now we're not going to be making it in the chain space. We're actually going to be going into the side of this double crochet here. So yarn over and go through the side of that double crochet, but don't come through the chain space. You're going up behind your work, okay, so you're going between there and up. The yarn over and you pull it up high because you want it to be as high as where you are now. Yarn over, back into the same space, yarn over, pull up a loop. And you're going to pull up a loop five times. That's number three, four, and five, so you're going to have 11 loops on your hook. Then yarn over and pull through 10 loops, leaving two loops on your hook. Then yarn over and pull through the last two. So you've got this really thick puff. 
and I pulled it up slightly higher than the double crochet next to it because it's going to be on a slant. Okay, so once you're in your puff, into that chain space, so the first of the two chain spaces, you go in there and make two double crochet. One, and two. And now we're going to make another puff. I'm going to go into this behind this double crochet here. So go in between those two, double crochet, and other side, and in between those chain spaces. So go into there and make the puff in exactly the same way. So pull up a loop five times. Three, four, and five. So I've got 11 loops on my hook again. Yarn over, pull through 10 loops, yarn over, pull through the last two. And we're going to ignore this chain space altogether and then go into double crochet in each of the last six stitches. One, two, three, Four, five, and six. Okay, then turn, chain one. Okay, so rows four and five are exactly the same. So we're going to make the alternate turning chain in the first stitch. stitch marker and then we're going to double crochet in the next five stitches one two three four and five Okay, so now we're going to make two double crochet. We're going to make it in this space here. So this is before this puff. And it's just that space you see there. So into there, just make two double crochet. One. And two. And now we're going to make our puff. So we're going to make the puff around the post of this double crochet here. So in row three, it's that double crochet before that puff. Okay, so go around and you hook up so it comes all the way behind your work and then pull up a loop. Yarn over, back into the same space and pull up a loop five times. Three, four, and five. So try and make these puffs really nice and high. And then yarn over, pull through ten loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. You see that's now going in the opposite direction as the row below. Okay. Then we're going to make two double crochet just after the puff. So after the puff in uh, row three, get into that space between the puff and the double crochet and going to make two double crochet in that space. Okay. Now we're going to make our next puff which will be around this double crochet here. I'm going to get in between those two and put it right in the middle. So exactly the same way. Two, three, four, and five. Yarn over, pull through ten loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Then we skip past the puff and we're going to double crochet in the last six stitches. So this first double crochet here can be hidden a bit behind the puff. 
but it is a so sometimes it's a bit easier just to count backwards from the end of the row and make sure you got the right number of double crochet. Five, six, yep. Two, three, four, five, and six. Take that. Okay, and that's row four finished. We can see we're starting to get that braided pattern coming through. Okay, so row five is exactly the same as row four. Turn, chain one, and make the alternate turning chain in the first stitch. Just pop the stitch marker in. And double crochet in the next five stitches. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Sorry, including the turning chain, it's six, but it's five double crochet after that. In case I'm confusing you. Okay. So now we're going to make two double crochet in that chain space before the puff. Say chain, it's not a chain space, it's just a space that you can get between the puff and the double crochet. And just make two double crochet in there. One and two. Okay. Then we're going to make our puff around the post here. Exactly the same as we did in row four. One, two, three, four, and five. Yarn over, pull through all ten stitches, ten loops, and then pull through two loops. Okay, and then we're going to make two double crochet in that space between the puff and the next two. Double crochet. One, and two. Then we go into between these two double crochet here and make our next puff. One, two, three, four, and five. Yarn over, pull through ten loops, yarn over, pull through two. Then we're going to skip the next puff and then we're going to double crochet in each of the last six stitches. Two, three, four, five. There's the first one, it's hidden behind the puff so it's easier to count backwards. So it's just kind of hiding onto the Three, oops, four, five, and last one, six. There we go. So I see how these puffs are starting to braid together. Okay, so row six is a decrease row. So we've turned, and we chain one. Now I want the alternate turning chain two together over the first two stitches. There we go. And we're going to double crochet in the next four stitches. One. Two, 
three and four. So really this pattern stays the same quite a way up the ray really, it's just how many double crochet um, before and after the puffs that we do. So in between the double crochet and the puff, into that space make two double crochet. And two. And then make your puff through the middle of those two double crochet there. So pull up five loops, two, three, four, and five, yarn over, pull through ten loops, yarn over, pull through two. Then make two double crochet between the puff and the next set of double crochet. That's one and two. And make your next puff between those two double crochet there. One. Oops, got caught there on something. Two. Ugh, I'm getting caught up in the puff. Hang on, let me start that one again. So sometimes you can get the hook caught in the puff because they're so puffy. One, two, three, four, and five. There we go. Okay, and then we're going to double crochet in the next four, six, yeah. So we double crochet in the next four, and then we're going to double crochet two together over the last two stitches. Two, three, and four. And double crochet two together for our decrease. Go, row six complete. Just want to manipulate those puffs sometimes, make sure they're all sitting where they should be. There we go. So, row seven. We turn chain one and make the alternate turning chain in the first stitch. Okay, so row seven, eight and nine are the same. Okay, marks away loose, there we go. And then we're going to double crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, sorry, four stitches. So make your alternate turning chain and double crochet in the next four stitches. And four. And then make your two double crochet in that space there between the double crochet and the puff. One. And two. And then make the puff through that double crochet before the puff. So you're going backwards. One, two, three, four, and five. Pull through ten loops and then pull through the two. And make the two double crochet between the puff and the next two double crochet and two and then the next puff through the centre of those two double crochet there two three four and five and then go to double crochet in the last five stitches there and a 
eight stitch across. So this is row seven, and rows eight and nine are exactly the same. So I'm going to carry on, and I shall come back to you at the end of row nine. So on to row ten, and row ten is a decrease row. So we've turned and chain one, and you're going to make the alternate turning chain two together in the first stitch over the first two stitches I should say there we go. done that and then we're going to double crochet in the next three stitches one two and three and then we'll make our two double crochet in between the double crochet and the puff. One and two. And then make the first puff around that last double crochet. One, two, three, four, and five, yarn over, pull through ten loops, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, and then make your two double crochet in between the puff and the next double crochets. One and two. And the next puff in between those two double crochet. Oops, I'm get tangled in something. One, two, three, four, and five. Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to double crochet in the next three crochet one two and three and then double crochet two together over the last two stitches to complete our decrease one and second there we go and that's the next decrease done. So I'm going to turn and I'm going to start our last set of puffs. So rows 11, 12 and 13 are exactly the same and they are our last three rows of puffs. So we turn, chain one, make the alternate turning chain in the first stitch. Okay, and then double crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, and three. You make your double crochet, two of them between the puff and your double crochet. And then make the first puff around that post of that last double crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. And double crochet between the puffs and the double crochet. There's two double crochet in there. Then make your next puff in the middle of those two double crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. And then finish off the row with a double crochet in the last four double crochet. One, two, 
three and four. Okay, so that was row 11. Rows 12 and 13 are exactly the same. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I shall see you at the end of row 13. Okay. So that's the end of round 13. So now round 14, round, rows even, row 14, we're going to go back to double crochet to finish our row. Okay, so turn in chain one, and make the alternate turning chain two together. Okay, so row 14 is also a decrease row. Did I do that right? No. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to make a double crochet in each stitch across. So it can be easy if you just tip it to the top. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that leaves us with two stitches left to do uh, double crochet two to get the two together at the end. Okay, so we're making a double crochet in each, double crochet and in the top of both puff stitches. Okay. okay, so you should have your double crochet two together at either end and then 10 double crochet in between. So 12 stitches in total for this row. Okay, so that should be ten double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we double crochet two together over the last two stitches. And there we go, return. Okay, so from here on in, we're going to carry on with double crochet to finish the row. So there's 39 rows in total for this one, and your decreases are in rows 14, 18. 22, 26, 30, 34 and 38. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this row and I shall see you in a moment for the slip stitch border. Okay so I finished my row and if you're thinking this doesn't look quite the same as I did when you saw me making it you're right. Because of the angle of um, holding it for the camera so you can see what I'm doing I couldn't get my puffs as high as I'd liked so I did go back and remake it it's exactly the same stitch made exactly the same way so you can see it's a two-sided stitch and the whole row is now finished so for the slip stitch border you're going to make one slip stitch in each stitch across the bottom so 20 stitches down there and you're going to make two slip stitches into the side of every double crochet row okay so you should have 78 stitches down one side and 77 down the other. Remember that um, final row with our point, you'll have one stitch in one side, two stitches in the other. So there we go, the uh, zigzag puff stitch. So I hope you enjoy that and I shall see you next time for week 24. Bye for now.